Well hello beautiful creators, welcome back to Monzo Media. Today's video I'm going to show you how to install and connect your M50 to the Canon Camera Connect app. Now this will enable you to use your M50 wirelessly. So first things first, click on the menu button and head over to the wrench section. On page one, you're going to see wireless communication settings. Choose Wi-Fi settings and make sure it's enabled. And at this time, it's going to give you an option to name your camera. I leave it as the EOS M50 and I'm going to hit OK. Now at this time, go down to password and change that to none so that, you know, you don't have to enter a password every time. Now you'll notice under nickname, now you will see EOS M50. Next, we want to head over to Wi-Fi function. In this section, this is where we would connect to our smartphone, but you can also connect to the EOS utility on your computer. You can connect to a printer or even a web service like a cloud, for example. But we're going to choose connect to smartphone. Next, we're going to select register a device for connection. At this point, it's going to prompt you to install the Camera Connect app on your smartphone. So you can go ahead and select iOS or Android. Now you can simply use your smartphone's camera to scan the QR code. Once you scan it, it's going to bring you to your app store and then you can go ahead and download the app. Your phone is going to prompt you to allow access to, you know, like your photos, to give notifications, things like that. The app is going to launch and it's going to give you this little indication that whenever you're using the app, if you connect to another app or, you know, go to another screen, it's going to disconnect. So one thing to consider when you're using this app, Make sure to turn off your auto sleep mode because if the phone shuts down, it's going to disconnect. Within the app, you're going to see this screen and everything's going to be grayed out because we still got to connect to the camera. So go ahead and click on easy connection guide. And then it's going to ask you to connect to your camera for the first time. Once you select that, enter EOS M50 and hit OK. It's going to ask you if this is your camera and you select yes. And at this point, we're going to connect via Wi-Fi. You can do the same thing via Bluetooth afterwards. Now these next steps, you can go ahead and press next until you come to a page where there is no next to select because we've already done these steps previously. So at this point, we're going to connect the smartphone to the Canon M50. So back to the M50 in the menu, we want to select Wi-Fi functions once again. Select the smartphone and register a device for connection. But this time we're going to click do not display. Then you'll notice on your camera it says waiting to connect. This is where we want to input our Wi-Fi settings. So click on switch network and then in this dialog box, it's going to ask you to select a network. Now if you scroll down, you should see your wireless connection. Go ahead and select that and enter your Wi-Fi password. On this screen for the IP address setting, I leave mine on the auto setting and hit OK. Then on the next screen, it's going to say waiting to connect. And then all you have to do at this point is to verify this is the phone that you're connecting to. So go ahead and press OK. On your smartphone, it's going to say that a connection has been made. And on your M50, it's going to say the connection has been established. On the app itself, you're going to see now that the options that were once grayed out, they are now enabled for you to use. So I've got a little setup here, nothing fancy. And as you can see, I can control my M50 with the app. Now you can rotate it to horizontal or vertical depending on your personal preference. But as you see, the red button there is to record or take a picture. Now with this app, you can select focus points. Now don't mind that it's mirrored. I messed up on the settings when I was setting this up but yours shouldn't be mirrored. If I select the back, it's focusing on the back. Now I'm going to select the subject and it's going to focus back on the subject. One thing to keep in mind when you are using this app, there is a slight delay. So just be patient with it, but it does work fairly well. 
So within the app, you have pretty much complete control over your camera settings other than picture profiles. So obviously you can change your ISO, your aperture, your shutter speed. You can change your white balance, the resolution that you want to shoot in. And you can also adjust and monitor your audio settings as well. One other useful thing I use this app for is that if I want to take pictures with my M50 and send them directly to my smartphone, I can do that as well. So as you see here on the screen, I'm going to select the subject, take a picture of it. And then when you select images on camera, it's going to show you the images that you've taken. Now when you select the image at the bottom you have some options. You have the information related to the camera like settings you used. You can rate it and of course you can directly import it to your smartphone. Now to give you options to import it at a reduced JPEG format that you can use for social media or you could import it at its original size but keep in mind if you do that the file is going to be fairly big. Now once I press OK it's going to import it into my smartphone's photo app. So as you see here in my photo app there's a picture at the bottom right corner and there you go. Now one of the other benefits of using this app is if you're going to use your M50 for live streaming. So be sure to check out that video that's coming up next. In the meantime, get out there, hit record, create, and I'll see you when I see you.